Hello, I'm Dave, and today with the help of my assistant Kempbot, we're going to show you a product demo with a difference. Hello, Kempbot. Kempbot doesn't talk like Alexa or have much in the way of skills, but he does know a lot about load balancers. Anyway, back to the topic. Today we're going to set a world record for installing a load balancer for Citrix storefront. Thanks to a collaboration between our enterprise engineering and pre-sales teams, we have a really nifty PowerShell script which takes the pain away. And Kempbot is going to watch carefully to make sure we don't cheat. As with any good recipe, we prepared our ingredients in advance. We downloaded the Loadmaster trial and unzipped it, and then we amended the variables in the script and we configured the text files with the IP addresses of the storefront and the VDI servers. You can find the trial download and the script on our dedicated Citrix microsite webpage. The link can be found in the description below. And now on with the world record attempt. Hey Kempbot, start the timer. Firstly, we need to import the image into the hypervisor. This is obviously going to vary depending which hypervisor you use, but they're all fairly similar. As you can see now, we've imported the appliance. We double click to start it, and then we wait for a few seconds while the, the virtual machine boots. Once it's booted, we have to look for a DHCP server. If you don't have a DHCP server on your network, you can go into the console and set a static IP address. All that's documented within the Kemp installation instructions. Once that's done, we go to our web browser, we browse to the IP address we've seen in the console. Then we accept the license agreement. Then the Loadmaster contacts our license server. We need to put in our Kemp ID. We get offered a trial license. And at that point, we can then license the Loadmaster. This takes a few seconds. Once it's done, you then need to supply a password then log in again with the password. And at this point, the Loadmaster will recycle a few processes. So there'll be a couple of delays here uh, while it installs its license and recycles the process. We'll skip over at this point. To the Citrix script, we'll put in the IP address that we've just seen the Loadmaster require, and then we'll execute the script. Once the script has finished running, log back into the Loadmaster. We can see that the virtual services now are up and running. If we check under the virtual services view modify section, we can see all the services that we created. We can drill down into the sub virtual services that have been created for Workspace app and for the uh, HTML5 app. We've created a single sign on to uh, Radius and LDAP and we've installed the SSL certificates as well. Everything's complete and we now have a fully working storefront solution.